Welcome to the Petty Show with the Ditto Bettys, and we're here to give it a go. If you don't like what you see, that's okay, not everyone has good taste. Jeez, we're petty, we're bitter, we're the Bitter Betty Show. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are here with something a little bit different. I came across this the other day and I made the mistake of listening to it. And I was like, wait a minute, the girls would love this. So <laughs> uh, I wanted to bring this to the girls and maybe y'all will like it. I hope so. <laughs> but yeah, this is called Biden's Paradise. Y'all ladies. We'll ready? see because we already know how I am about parodies. So we'll, yep. we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm guessing this we'll is going to be a parody of Gangster's Paradise. <laughs> it, it, yeah, but it's. It doesn't sound nothing like it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, it sounds I, like I it. I tried but, eating the test yeah. they gave me to become a lawyer. I threw <laughs> up. So I guess this isn't my first time spitting bars. As I sit in the office where I author the law, I take a look at the nation, and I say there's nothing wrong, cause I've been blundering and gapping so long, even my son Hunter thinks my mind is gone, but I never sniffed a child who didn't deserve it, you be passing up these scents, that's what's really perverted, if you ever cross my path, you ain't got a prayer, cause me and my homies gonna be smelling your hair. Printing lots of money, killing pipelines, making sure the nation's locked out till the end of time. Gonna give the country over to Xi Jinping, I guess that's what I meant when I said no malarkey. Spend too much of our lives living in Biden's paradise. Everything's twice the price living in Biden's paradise. Till 2025, we're all stuck in Biden's paradise. Spend too much of our lives living in Biden's paradise. Check out the situation. Hyperinflation print another couple trillion and destroy the whole nation. And I'm not going down to the border, fool. Unless those migrant kids are using their shampoo. I'm a career politician with a senile mind. I can't finish this sentence. I've got blood in my eye. But damn, I'm important. I made a fortune selling you out to China. Yeah, your job's been exported, fool. <laughs> that ain't nothing but a heartbeat away. And Kamala Harris is counting down the days to 2023 or 24. Will I make it that long? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me why I've been so blind to see that uh, you know, you know the thing. <laughs> Spend too much of our lives living no, no. in Biden's paradise. Everything's twice the price living in Biden's paradise. Till 2025, we're all stuck in Biden's paradise. Spend too much of our lives living in Biden's paradise. Hey, folks, thank oh you. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was really hoping for a good Carol laugh, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Where was that from? Uh, what is Freedom Tunes? I don't know. They, they make all kinds of things. Huh. I feel like I've heard that name before, but I'm not exactly. Uh. Exactly sure. Carol. <laughs> well, um, definitely was a parody. <laughs> um, and it's hard. I got a couple giggles. Yeah. Um, parodies are always rough for me. I don't know why I don't always get the humor in them. I don't know what blocks me from that, right? Like, it's not even like that that's something necessarily is bad or whatever it is. It just, like, I don't know why I get blocked from that so much. I, I, I have such a hard time with parodies. Like, I mean, I think it's genius when people can do it. You know what I mean? And, like, yeah. think about stuff to put together. Um, I think I, some of it was more... Um, 
because of some of the truth behind it is where my giggles would kind of come from or like oh my god i can't believe mm -hmm. you said that like the sniffing the kid's hair like i was yeah. like all right look like <laughs> I, I don't know what it was i i don't know it it's hard for me sorry guys i'm just not a huge parody person i i wish i liked them more See, I, I, wish I, did. I didn't even put it together that it was really a parody i just thought it was funny when i listened to it i was like yeah, no, I, I I get it. I get it. And I guess some of it was kind of funny, but I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I just I find things to me that are more oh. comedic are like, you know, stand up with like certain punchlines and there was punchlines in it. But I just have a hard time with parodies. I know why this is familiar. Seamus Coughlin is uh, he's on Timcast. IRL. Oh, really? That's Seamus from the Freedom Tunes. That's where I've heard it before. I was like, why is that so familiar? And then the name Seamus, writing by Seamus Coughlin Animation, voices. That makes sense. Well, what did you think? Love it. Uh, Lacey? Me? Uh, I mean, I thought um, a lot of it was funny, because mainly because it was true. Um Right. There was like one where I was like, I I don't really get that. It was kind of cheesy, but like, uh, but I thought it was it was fun and funny. Was uh, it what you were? Expecting and I mean, <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know what to expect. But when I figured out, oh, it said parody song, and then Biden's Paris, okay, Gangsters Paradise. Then I kind of knew what I was getting into. But uh, they weren't wrong. <laughs> they definitely were not wrong. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like it, not it like. That's why some of it made me giggle, right? Yeah. Or like I'm just like shaking my head because I'm just like, oh, it's true. What the yeah. hell? But <laughs> uh, yeah, very yeah. interesting though, for sure. Very interesting for sure. What? Well, Probably yeah. not my favorite, but that's okay. No, that's okay. It's not my favorite. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Good job on the animation, though. I mean, yeah. and the the writing and all of putting it all together. You know, kudos on all that and to yeah, all these supporters learn, out here. Us learning just some editing with videos and stuff. We know how yeah. hard that part is. Like doing an actual cartoon. Props to you, man. Yeah, literally. I don't even. Dang. And the, the that, braids in Biden's hair. Like, come on. Yeah, oh, that's. That was, that, I thought that, that was, was cracking convenient. me up. It was that very cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very comedic. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. I just feel bad. I feel like I disappointed Jamel because you didn't get your chuckle laugh, but that's okay. The day's still young. We've got no ditty coming up. So <laughs> yep. yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah. That and, yeah. So and I true. like that guy a lot. So we'll I'll see. I'll get how my goes. laugh from her today. It's okay, guys. <laughs> She's like, I'm counting on it. It's coming. But yeah, and that was uh guys, if y'all cuz like okay, the re there's a reason why we don't like doing sad songs over here. It's not cuz we don't like them. It's because we have we go through the de through the weeks and some of us just have really or sometimes all of us have like really bad weeks and we just don't want to go to listen to sad music when maybe we've been sad ourselves during a week. So like yeah. I like to have an uplifting time with the girls, so I feel that. So if y'all have Agreed. any funny things, not parodies, because we know Carol don't like those. So any, if y'all have any funny like songs that maybe mm -hmm. we haven't heard, put them down in the comments. Yeah, I really enjoy like even like if it's a even a funny song, like a written song, like an original song or something like that by somebody, you know, that has just great punchlines in them. Like I love that kind of stuff. But for some reason parodies always throw me off and I don't know yeah. what it is. Like I was never a weird Al fan. Like I, I yeah. just, I never really liked a whole lot of parodies. So um, I don't know what, what, what that is. I don't know why I, I, my, mm. something in my brain is just like, like it's it just shuts it down. You know, the tune you probably, cause you know the tune of the song and you're yeah. just like, and you're trying to, you're like, this isn't it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And that that very well could be because when I hear the song, I'm I'm trying to I'm tr my brain is trying to hear it in its original version, and then I'm like blocking out like maybe things that like should be there. I don't know. Maybe that is why I have struggle with parodies. That's that's actually probably a pretty good assumption yeah. um, as to why I have so much trouble with it. Yeah, but very much so. But she did like. Because it wasn't a parody, but like she did really enjoy t uh, Tyler Cassidy last week when we listened to him. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I can't wait to get to him again this week. I, I really like that yeah. guy. I really do. 
Me too. That was fun. I really like him. I cannot wait to do the the other one. It might be right after this one, just cause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he see. was really funny. Yeah, I, and I still think he's a cutie pie. I don't give a shit. Like, I think he's a cutie pie. Yeah, you know? he is. Yeah, I think he's a cutie pie. So I can't wait to see the next one of those for sure. All right, guys. Well, um, that's going to be all for this video. So before you leave, because we are on the road to 5K and we want to be there by the end of the year. That's the goal. Or more, you know, yeah. why stop there? But we want 5K and yeah. we're so close. So before so you close. leave, make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment. Yep. And don't forget to subscribe. Tap that bell if you want to know when the Bettys, that's us, um, are back. So we'll be here. We're here every week. Usually something's dropping. And, uh, you know, we've we've got some lives and that kind of stuff. Fun stuff planned. So stay tuned. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Thank you for watching the Bitter Betty Podcast. But before you go, if you plan on meeting some hate, would you rather us be real? Or would you rather us be fake? If you didn't like what you saw, your pennies are probably in the water. Take your fingers, dig them out, put your head between your legs before you pout. This was our Betty show, and we gave it a go.